The truth is, in all honesty, majority of the time, the screening process to see if you qualify to rent property is more in-depth and harder to pass than the screening process to see if you qualify to borrow money to buy your own property. So you have to think about that. You have an entire section of people who will probably remain renters for the rest of their life because they have some type of belief or a mindset that makes them believe um, that something's gonna get in their way as far as being able to qualify for a loan. And the fact of the matter is, you know, all you have to do is just ask a simple question. Hey, can I, can I borrow some money? People are gonna be like, yeah or no. And really, everybody involved in the process from your real estate best friend um, to the lender that you use, um, they want you to qualify to get the loan. So they're gonna do everything in their power to take you from point A to point B to make sure that you actually see light at the end of that tunnel. You know, they have 90 day programs to fix something like credit repair. They have freaking six month, 18 month, four year, 10 years. You know, people are relying on you to uh, purchase a property so they can actually provide uh, for their families and for their businesses. So they want you to get that loan and they will give you advice. You know, don't ever be scared to find out information about yourself. A lot of people don't, they don't want to find out about their credit. They don't want to find out about their financial situations. They were just like, ah, I'm perfectly fine uh, paying rent for the rest of my life. You know, if you can't talk to your best friend in real estate, who can you talk to? Ask questions, find out, educate yourself, learn to see if you're just either throwing money away from rent and get, rent's fine. We rent, we own real estate and we also rent because of whatever reason, we just, we just like that. Renting is 100% okay, but if you want more, ask some more questions.